it's scary. Yeah. But I consider me comfortable for the next <clears throat> 20 years of my life, but I, I'm not happy. Yeah. So if you're not happy, you have to make change. Yeah. So I think this is going to be my change. My name is Shauna. My name is Jack Walker. My name is Sinead. My name is Ronan. My name is Oye. I'm Sarah. I'm Shane Coleman. My name is Trina. I am single. Um, I work. I like the outdoors. I, I expected to be more nervous, but I'm not. So I don't know why. <laughs> but I feel like I can be myself. And if I can be myself, then I'm going to take it however it comes at me. and. That's why, I guess that's why I'm not nervous because I'm, I'm, I have every intention to just be regular with me, so. Because I genuinely feel like I have a lot to offer and I have a lot to learn. Um, I'd love to, um, yeah, I think I'm here to build relationships. I want to be able to, I want to learn from people. I last year went through a tough time with my mental health. Um, I suffered with general anxiety disorder and I suffered a lot with social anxiety and I, kind of decided that as I was trying to better myself and kind of better my mental health that I wanted to put myself out there even more um, and just keep working on myself and a big part of that for me is by meeting new people. I'm a mental health nurse and um, I work in Tala um, and I've been doing that for 20 plus years. I would say I'm I'm coming to the end of being a full-time mom, okay? Um, my eldest is 26, my youngest is 13. I now have time that I didn't have before. Um, and I think I'm at the stage where I need to start looking at who I am as a person. Um, what do I like? What don't I like? Because you get lost in caring for kids and you lose yourself as a person and you you become you know a mom to these kids and your whole life or your whole existence is around who they are um, and you forget yourself i feel that i'm at a crossroads in my life with with the traumatic events that i've had and then going to having three kids in such a short space of time i'm completely I'm lost. Um, I've been trying to go back to my old self, but obviously it's changed me so much. I, I, I don't feel I'll ever get back to who I was. I've changed so much, so it's trying to figure out now who I am, where I stand in life. And then at the same time, with trying to grieve and bring up three small children, it's impossible. You're trying to be strong for them. You don't want them to feel what you're going through. Um, it feels impossible. And then when I, you know, people say, join a club or go running or go out for a walk or, you know, you need to get yourself into something. I just can't seem to push myself past where I'm at. Um, I can't start grieving until I suppose I find my outlet. I'm 26, I'm still sort of finding myself really. I signed up because it's something a little bit out of my comfort zone again. Yeah, I think it's gonna help you sort of, <clears throat> not necessarily find your why, because I, I, I don't know if it's, everyone's gonna find it in nine months or whatever, but um, just help you sort of come out of your shell and find a bit of a purpose, not a sole purpose, but just a little bit more of a purpose for every day and why you do what you do and why you are getting up in the morning. Yeah. Why did you sign up for the crew? I, it was a timing thing. Um, so I got the email a couple of days after my then five-year-old, who's six now, um, asked me the question. He said, Daddy, when 
I'm 45 years of age, how old will you be? How old will you be? And I said, I'll be 85 years of age. And he looked at me and said, you're not fit and healthy. I'm not sure you'll get there. And that gave me a great shock. <laughs> and um, I just, I want to do something like this to make sure I put the things in place in my life to make sure that I'm around for my kids, I'm healthy, I'm active, and they see the best of me for the rest of my life. And the other thing is I want to grow old with my kids in a healthy way. So as I mentioned earlier on, my parents passed away when I was really young. My kids are starting to talk about morbidity and you know, my six-year-old tells me, you're not going to you're not going to be 85 if you're not fit and healthy, and I'm not fit and healthy. So I'd love to figure out how to build some habits that gets me there. I've had a really tough couple of years. As I said, I was a nurse, worked in COVID. Um, sorry, and my husband had a really bad accident last year. Um, he had a spinal injury. I promise I would cry this. Um, I've been a mom. I was looking after people since I was 21. So I set myself a challenge this year that I would um, do things like this to, to figure out who I am, put myself out of my comfort zone, which this is really way out of my comfort zone. I've come to realise, and this is something I wrote down that I thought I'd say tonight to people, everyone has a story. You know, and social media can be funny, really. You know, people often only want to show the best of everything, you know, and uh, nobody has a perfect life and nobody escapes this life without walking a step in pain. Nobody, doesn't matter who you are, you know, it doesn't discriminate age, class, nothing. Everybody has a story and I suppose it's how we deal with it. And um, it was a bit like my own story. You, you can either sink or swim, you know. I remember the night I buried my husband and I live next door to my mom, so I was very lucky we live side by side. And I remember locking my door and walking upstairs and thinking, oh my God, this is not what I signed up for. I'm on my own here with two small children, you know. And I, I had no choice. I had two young children depending on me. How are you now? I'm good. I'm great. And I suppose, a bit like my husband, he found it very hard to talk. But um, I am good at talking now, but it took a long time. And you know, it has to come out. I would have been very close with my parents, both of which I lost in the last 18 months. And that has a knock-on effect of creating a hole in my life that I'm, I'm trying to fill or trying to find a way around. It also has provided me with so much more free time than I would have ever had before. And I suppose a less structured life than I would have had before because there was caring responsibilities. So for the first time, every weekend is mine and mine alone to do things with. Every evening is mine and mine alone to do things with. I'm not too sure where to go because I'm starting lots of things and not quite finishing anything. There's 20 years out ahead and I don't want to wake up in 20 years time and go, I've got a waste of that time. I feel like I'm not good enough as a person right now for what, as in, I should be a better person than I am. Um, I should be more accomplished. I should be more well-rounded. You know, I should be better doing better financially. I should be doing better you know, personally, emotionally, uh, professionally, academically. Uh, I just feel like there's a slight sense of I'm not good enough at the moment. And um, I don't know if that's something that I should be trying to do more, or I should be trying to figure out what I want to do and then doing those things, or if I should be going, no, you are good enough. So, um, yeah, I feel like there's either a sense of I need to figure out who I am or I need to come to terms with who I am and feel good enough in my own skin in that sense. I want to get healthier. I want to get fitter. I want to get mentally stronger. The way I am now, I feel if anything else bad comes my way, I don't feel that I could take it. Like, I'm quite strong. I am strong with regards to getting on with day-to-day -day life or pulling myself through day-to-day -day life. I get up every single day. I think that's a huge thing. I get up every single day and I go about my days, I just do it. But 
if anything else happens, I'm just afraid that I'll just get into bed. And I don't want that to happen. I am a person on a journey. And I'm looking forward to meeting others and looking forward to hearing other people's stories and what they have to say and what they have to offer. Because you'll always learn something from other people.